it's hard, right? Like it's not easy to say exactly what's on my mind right now. There's a lot of things. Mm -hmm. That's a big question. Yeah. Um, what is sexual violence and what are some examples you can think of? Uh, any little, like it could be a lot of different little things. Any sexual act against the person's will, I guess, or I guess without their consent. When someone is put in a scenario where they're not comfortable being and like they're being persuaded into doing something that they're not giving their permission for. It doesn't matter if it's like physical, like with someone else, but also it's like just with words. Cat calling someone on the street or just like saying inappropriate stuff. People need to know that that is sexual violence as well. What are your thoughts when you hear those numbers? I feel like they're, they're, they're very high and they're shocking. It's a little bit ridiculous when you think about it. 50%, that's every other person you talk to. I think that for sure there, there are some experiences that are not sure. That was a little bit low compared to, to what I would have thought it was. I think people are scared because other people might look at them differently, like, oh, he got sexually assaulted. I feel like they're gonna, they're afraid of being judged, of like, it's your fault kind of thing. It's your fault because of your makeup. It's your fault because you were having so much fun that you were dancing in some sort of way. They don't wanna turn into this Facebook story that's all over the world about like this poor little kid who was a victim. Some people aren't emotional, um, outspoken people, so having to open up about that is hard for them. They're so big and impactful that nobody wants to come out and directly say what happened to them. You want to avoid like all the questions and all the situations, so I don't know, maybe you say like, no, you know, like, yeah, just, I just want to get over it. They might be afraid that by saying it out loud, like you have to admit that it happened to you. Um, you can't, you can't hide it. Also that you might seem uh, weak or like you couldn't handle the situation. Yeah, I think, I think it does. I don't think the intent um, for most people that make those jokes is malicious. You never know what situation you're in and who is in that room, and you don't know what personal situation they've been in, and anything could just trigger them. They can still bring up past memories that someone may be traumatized by. All your mood is killed, like everything's just like, you go back to that place and that it's dark, right? It's not something that you want in your life anymore. That's why you try to forget about it every day. You have to be more careful about who you are with and kind of more aware of your words. Each person could be going through something different each day. You don't know anyone else's story, so it definitely could affect other people. Be more conscious of the things that we are saying. And well, if we don't know him, it's like better just to be quiet. You shouldn't make jokes about it, just so you guys know, just don't. Well, I think um, in a space like a college, but also just in public, that it's not, it might be your right to say that, but it's not your space, it's everyone's space. So you need to kind of abide by the unspoken rules of um, public decency and generosity. That person is the one that should be growing and that should be learning and that should be educating themselves instead of, you know, like just playing around with this um, awful situations because they have no clue no clue what it's like. Just check them and say, hey, do you know that you're you're causing people, or you could cause people harm? Sexual assault or any kind of inappropriate touching is inappropriate touching. It doesn't matter where it is, it doesn't matter who's there, it doesn't matter who it is. I think that it's basically the same situation, even if you are like with a lot of people or you are like sitting down in, with your, in your own space with your laptop and nobody has given any permission. Uh, there's no reason why what that would change. I think it's just a stereotype of the environment that you're in is what really 
change people's mind and perspective on what happened. Because it's crowded, because a lot of people are here, you know, maybe it was like a, an accident. It was like, well, I know that it was not an accident, you know, I think that it was like on purpose. There's consequences and reaction from everyone should be the same regardless. It's, it's, it's never okay. It's absolutely never okay. Same movies and stuff like, oh, this is supposed to party, supposed to do this to girls, this to guys, and like supposed to get drunk and get crazy and stuff. So I think like that kind of shifted everyone's mentality about when they come into college, like, oh, this is what I expect. You grow up and you see those things, so I think you start, if you don't know better, you start to think that that's, that's okay, and that's how people start to treat other people, you know, based on what they see and what they know. College is portrayed like somewhere you would only have sex and drink alcohol and have fun when it's more about like kind of worrying about getting a job <laughs> and getting your assignments on. <laughs> Peer pressure is huge, insane, especially like, yeah, coming in college right out of high school, but you gotta know when to control yourself and what's right for you, what's right in the situation as well. I guess it depends on the person, like who you want to be. 